Welcome back friends. So I know that pants are something that is a very common alteration that is needed, but they aren't always as simple as they seem. Maybe you think that you have gotten down the hemming technique that works for you only to find a pair that suddenly you have a problem with. This is very common. Um, in, for instance, stretch pants or anything that has that stretch in it. I know, especially um, in the first couple of years in alterations business, when I encountered a pair of jeans that had stretch in them, it was so challenging to actually hem them and feel like the hem was working well. So I'm gonna just demonstrate that in a pair that I tried recently that actually were giving me a little bit of trouble. Sewing is the connection between the clothing and textiles in our lives. If you have a sewing machine that you lack the confidence to use, this channel is for you. I'm Naomi Feta, and I'm here to help you learn to alter, repair, and decorate the textiles that surround you. Let's think outside the box together to find solutions for those items that aren't working. So for this pair, I hemmed them with the typical thread that I use. And as you can see, they have a stretch to them. And what I don't like is the way that this thread is acting. So see those loops on the bottom side? And we could say that that is a bobbin issue, a tension issue. So I tried that, but I still, when you pull them, I feel like it's going to break. And I don't like that. So we're going to actually take out this seam and um, put a new seam in. So in order to take this out, I'm actually going to use an awl, which is just a sure point. And I do need to cut one loop, but you'll notice that with an awl, especially when that um, top loop coming down through the bobbin is loose, literally able to just pull out a long length of stitches at a time, which again is one of the reasons why I feel the need to take this out because it's a little disconcerting that um, this thread would be able to just be pulled out because that means if one portion of it breaks, then the whole seam is going to be compromised and that is certainly not the longevity of the type of work that I want to produce. So, of course, thinking about clients or whether it is your own um, wardrobe, no one wants to be coming back to do a job over again. So you can actually see that there was a couple places where I had tried to redo this already without success. And so that's why I'm trying an alternative method. And pardon me, because I do have a stuffy nose today. Um, just woke up with that, you know, raspy kind of sore throat. And then was off on a field trip with the kids to a farm, which probably didn't help much either. So continuing to rip that out like this and I'm going to get all of it out and you'll also notice that when you looked at my seam, I like to use thread that's matching the top stitching in a pair of jeans so it looks as similar to the original as possible. Okay. So here I am at the machine with these pair of jeans again and I've threaded it with similar color to the top stitching thread but notice it is not top stitching thread um so this is kind of my troubleshooting method again other people that are tailors maybe they do it differently but this is a method that i found to be super helpful 
And before I go any further, I did want to put a shout out um, to my friend um, Alicia, who is doing a mom, an ultimate mom life giveaway this week that I have had the opportunity to be a part of. So I'm going to link the information for that in the show notes here. And be sure to go check it out. There's so many free prizes. So it ends at the end of this week, which would be September 22nd of 2023. So of course you can only get that if you are watching in during this week, but I'm sure that there'll be more giveaways in the future. So be sure to check it out. Now, um, and then I'm at the machine, I've turned it on, put the needle down, and I'm doing that same traditional whip you can find more of my videos on my Udemy course for pant humming that I'll also have, um, link in the show notes. Now, as I start to stitch, I'm also going to pull a little bit. This means that the stitch is stretching as you pull because the typical jean hem is not a stretch stitch. So I'm going around with a slight pull. And I want to just take a look and see. No, I haven't changed anything with the bobbin tension or anything since I last sewed this pair with the um, stitch that I took off that you saw. And yet this looks fine. And the difference is being able to pull. I mean, to be able to stretch while you're sewing. And the reason this doesn't work super well with top stitching the thread is that the bulk of the top stitching thread just seems to pucker up and makes it actually looser. So it's counterproductive. So again, I'm just stretching the pants, not a lot, because these aren't gonna get a lot of stretch, but you want them enough so that at the little stretch, your thread isn't going to break. And then, because this isn't top stitching thread and I want that look of like a jean hem, I actually will go around again. Now this one, you do have to be a little more precise because you're going around right in that same exact line as the original stitch, not the original, but the one you did the first time around. So that the two layers or the two rows of top stitching will actually make it look like you use a top stitching thread. So that's the reason why I do that. Thank you for watching. You can shop tutorials and classes on my website, naomifeda.net. Be sure to like and subscribe. And as always, may God sow his love into your heart today.